so, about a month ago, I was playing Rust on a weekly server. Things were going pretty well. I had a decent base, near outpost, on the water, and I was raided. But I had a secret bunker that they didn't get to. So when nighttime fell, I jumped in my boat, took all my bunker loot, and travelled up the coast. Whacking down a 2x2, with honeycomb of course, a couple kilometres up the map, and a little bit more inland this time. I figured I was far enough away from any sort of danger, it was kind of in the middle of nowhere, no monuments nearby, no other real big bases hanging around, so I logged off. The next day, I logged back in, and there was a duo raiding my base. Yep, my sleeping bag was gone, my TC was gone, and they were still inside the base. So that was a GG, that's for sure. But anyway, these guys came out their front door, killed me. So I got to see their names, and I sent them a cheeky message, saying something along the lines of, thanks for the offline raid, cool smiley face. And the response I got from this guy was just downright toxic. And you know, I don't use that term lightly, but we'll come to that later. Now does this story have much to do with today's video? You guys will have to wait and see. But yes, it does. Obviously, I mean the title of the video is Payback. But let's just say that what goes around definitely, definitely comes back around. And I can't wait to share this with you guys. Holy... Oh, now I don't want to die. <laughs> it's only 75 scrap to research. Man, it's actually... It's actually huge <laughs> if I can get this garage door to bandit camp. Go, man. I think it's only 75 scrap, which is super undervalued. Let's go. Yes, dude. Oh my god, that is insane. Ah, <sighs> dude, that is such a good start. That is actually such a good start. I'm gonna try and go north side of launch. It's gonna be busy, but I think it's gonna be the best spot for us to, you know, get going. Uh, yeah, you know, later into the wipe. It's gonna be the best, best place for us to get a good start. And yeah, have no blueprints on this server other than garage door now. So we're going to need a spot where we can get some nice blueprints and weapons. And launch is the uh, the perfect spot for that. This area here is kind of cool, to be honest. We'll just suss it out though first. Oof. Jesus. What is that? <laughs> Hello. Hello, my guy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's up, dude? You like my username? I do. It's very good. <laughs> I'm about to eoka grub some dude. Hey, nice. Got him. Oh my god, he's absolutely stacked. Oh, it's time to put down a base because I just this guy had a full farm, full invent. <laughs> Some dude running at me with a gun. Hell yeah! Actually, got the base down. Oh yeah, this space design, sneaky, sneaky AF. <laughs> I'm 
and she's snacking on me. Little teasers. Yep. <laughs> I need to get back to you. Holy. I'm in E7. Just entering it now. Um, I'm gonna go back to base then so I can let you in. Well, I got some goodies. What'd you get? Hatchet. Damn. High external wood wall. Yeah, boy. Oh, a ladder. Wait, you get you say you got a ladder. That's actually real good. Yeah. Ladder. Ah, oh, fuck. Can you slip in there? Did you end up getting in? Uh, I fell the first time, so I'm trying again. I see. You're a bit of a pleb. <laughs> you want me to try? <laughs> Stand up, Joe. Come on, Joe. Uh, I'm dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. You rolled to me, though. Hey, I did it. I did it. It's decent. There's like four crates in there. Go custom. Yeah, we yeah, brother. This um, this game's a joker. Bloody joker. What a joker. <laughs> You know, suss out this little bit or this big base over here. Yeah, I'll come. Yeah, boy. Pretty sure there's people in here. <laughs> Maybe, do you reckon you can come here for a sec? Because you might be able to. I think when I build this, they're going to come out, but. If you stand here. A little bit closer. Yes. Ow, ow. Fucking cactuses, man. Oh, I can get in. I can get in. Can you try and find. Try... Don't, don't do that. He's here. He knows I'm looking. He knows I'm here. now yeah he's on me I killed him can you raid him I don't like, know get his stuff oh, I don't think so no 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 I can't get it <laughs> fuck I can't get it that's so bullshit dude Um, did you say, where, where was the hole? He's out, he's out, he's out. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Man, if I had been able to lose body, fuck. His name's Touch, I've seen that name before. The Eoka had like, it went, did four clicks before it went off. <laughs> it was like... This is like the biggest role player base I've ever seen. It's like a little little boat base That's down here. 
So yeah, in classic Harvey's fashion, we'd found a way to annoy this group pretty much before we'd even had a chance to establish a base. But as you might have noticed, this wasn't the first time that I'd encountered this name. His name's Touch. I've seen that name before. It hadn't quite clicked yet, but we definitely had some history during a previous wipe. So for now, just remember the name, because this wasn't the last that you'd see of this group during this wipe. But anyway, I had some IRL things to attend to, so I did a quick farm to load up the furnaces and logged off. Later on that day, I logged back in, ready to do some farming and upgrade the base. So naturally, I decided it'd be worth the investment to trade a fraction of our scrap for a jackhammer. Other than our clan neighbours that we'd met recently, our area was relatively quiet, so this would go a long way to helping us progress during this wipe. Safe to say, I was keen for a montage-worthy farm, that's for sure. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Three hours later. <sighs> Once I'd uh, blown off some steam, I decided we were missing something from this equation. An important piece of the puzzle. So I gave our good mate Sniper call up. What's up, dude? Upload makes it. As a perfect as guys. <laughs> no, one ever no. Yeah, whereabouts are you? Six. Yeah, some pretty, uh, pretty big ass spaces around. Yeah, I just come across one on the water. Uh... Um, there's this compound base nearby. It didn't take long for me to fill snipe in on how our area was shaping out, but more importantly, who our likely main enemies were going to be this way. The clan group, just up the road. Of course. And don't get me wrong, you know, I get along with snipe for a number of reasons, but our common love for building into clan compounds was definitely at the top of the list. So needless to say, it didn't take much convincing to get snipe on board for a sneaky hemp heist. You might have noticed earlier on, when I was building into this compound, the amount of hemp that this group had been growing, protected only by a few turrets and a custom gate. And we noticed they weren't at their base, so it was the perfect opportunity. So the way we get into this base is we ladder up onto the like custom gate and then sort of fall down through their high external. So you sort of just got to heal up as you go. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> the amount of the amount of cloth in this base. Wow. Looks like I was gonna get my farming montage after all. Just not quite in the way that I expected it. Oh man. When you go on the roof, just look at the cloth. <laughs> it just like filled. Like a C. Caught on a rock. Oh, it's out. Deep rock. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and the festivities begin. Oh, 
Holy shit, dude. Let's get this shit out of here. <laughs> The next morning when I logged in, I decided to check out the compound again to see yeah, if they'd learn too. from their mistakes. And to check if there was a way that I could yoink some more resources from them. And unfortunately, it seemed like they did, with a couple extra turrets making it much harder to climb into their compound. But this, my friends, is where the plot of this story <laughs> thickens. Hemp, but they now have two more turrets. Oh man, he's like jumping around in his roof with a rocket launcher. What? What? Uh, now he's roof camping me. Wait. Wait, so far the only gamer tag we'd associated with the compound base was Touch. And I'd recognized his name, but hadn't thought much of him at the time. The second I saw Surtz's name though, it all came rushing back. And looking back at my footage, this wasn't the first time I'd encountered him this wipe either. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this was the group who had offline raided me about a month ago. And let's be honest, I have nothing against people who offline raid, especially on console, where the controls are kinda aids, and there's only so many ways that you can progress. But nonetheless, I was kinda salty at the time, and sent this certs lad a cheeky message. This is how the conversation went down. Nice offline cool face. You weren't offline. Ha ha okay. KYS. Wow. Now if that wasn't ammunition enough to seek some revenge, I don't know what is. So we put our heads together and considered what we knew about these guys so far. First of all, they're definitely not opposed to an offline raid. And secondly, they have the means to raid. Or at least a rocket launcher. So we bided our time and went on our way gathering components and resources, waiting for the perfect opportunity to present itself. Fuck is he? Can't see him. Oh, he's shooting. He's at the top of where I am shooting at me. He's gonna go crossy. Dog. Fuck off, dude. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, dude? He's right there. He's got a fucking crossy and the fucking dog. No, he's gonna get back that way. Permission to bring custom real quick. Where is he? Which way is he heading? Holy, me. he hit me once. Oh, I died from radiation. Dude probably heard that. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you want to go here? Take this rad suit. I got most of his shit, but his name was like Little Gambo or something. It's now. 
Oh, yeah. Man, that was so annoying. The freaking dog took me down to like 30 health and then he hit me once with a crossy. Did you grab my game? At a, at a crossbow. Nah, I think he, I was pretty much full. Unless he took some stuff from you. Oh, wait, no, I've got two crossies on me. <laughs> oh, there's an airdrop kind of in the middle of nowhere. Out, uh, like, southeast. Do you want to go for a, for a look-see? Oh, yeah, head here. I just hit a hazzy. Um, I think I'm close to you. Oh, yeah. He's got a gun. Nice, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Stacked? Oh shit, dude. Nah, that's the dude from the base next to us. We gotta go back. Oh, mid syringe. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Loading that. Ladder. Um, oh, eight gears? Yeah. Fucking hell, he was loaded. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Now, we weren't exactly sure which group this dude belonged to, but thought it best to upgrade the base to make it a more difficult way. And while Yuno and I were in the base, Snipe was out farming up some resources to help the process along. Yeah, he was down by that roleplayer boat base we'd come across earlier in the white. It was a relatively quiet area down there, so it was great for farming. Oh, these dudes are all on their roof now. Which guys? No, oh, down at that water base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Building something. Oh, they're putting a turret up over the side now. I think they're raiding it. Yeah. Wait, they're putting a turret on the outside? That's yeah, cannon raid. Cannon raid. Turret's already up. Is it facing the base? Yeah. Okay. Three of them. This might be the uh, hemp dudes. Oh, so they're raiding the roof campers. No, no, no. They're raiding the that sheet metal waterfront base around here at 3.30. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely there. Rocket. Okay, uh, fuck. What can we counter raid with? Pipies and frags? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, bring those frags. Oh shit, you can get to the top of the hill here, where I am. Oh uh, yeah. I'll bring them all, except for one. Oh shit, we're getting raided. What? Oh fuck. Yeah, come back to base, guys, if you can. Yeah, yeah. Satchels. Hold up, unless there's just one satchel, maybe they're just trolling. I'm still coming back. We can still counter right there. No, they haven't even got in yet. But it's definitely um, touching them raiding right that base. So we just saw you. Yeah. Mm. I reckon, I don't know if these guys started raiding and then they heard me doing shit inside. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I'll bring this uh, M92. So, with frags, pipies, and an M92 in hand, we set out to try and counter raid a group that looked like they were planning a rocket raid on the offline boat base. <laughs> Now, to put things into perspective, this was our base, this was the boat base that we thought was about to get raided, and this was the clan compound that we'd yoinked the hemp from. It was owned by Touch and his toxic friend, Certs. Given their history for offline raids, and the fact they were dancing around on the roof just a few hours before with a rocket launcher, we had a pretty good inclination that it was them raiding this base. But there was only one way to be certain. Yeah, no, they used the rocket. Um... Oh, they used it? Yeah. Oh man, how did we not hear it? So the turret's facing which way, sir? Towards your base. Towards the base you're raiding. Okay, from like up this way. Oh yeah, oh. I hear it now. Are they raiding from the roof? Like Yeah, they went roof raiding. Oh yeah. The one should be on the roof, looking down, this is what the turret's for. Oh, yeah, the turret's on the like that little cliff on the right hand side. So what do you reckon the play is? Should we try and wait until they're in, or we need nah, to enough seal well, it? Well, we can't really, we can't do nothing. No, because they seal it. Huh? In, cause it, well, no, it's the turret anyway. That's gonna fuck us over. Wait, so is that turret facing towards us? I feel like it yeah, must be up. right. In which case, probably have to go from like the leaf, the water, the beach. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's like if these guys aren't hit, guys, they better run past us, right? Yeah. We can jump them from the height of these rocks. Oh, you went on the roof? Wait, did they open that? Oh, they've already sealed it, man. Yeah, they've already sealed because they got a door at the top. Yep. No, they've sealed it. 100%. That was, an, that was actually just a flat top, wasn't it, originally? Let them come pick up their turret and see what way they come and then we try to jump them. To be honest, probably the best way though to counter this is going to be as they're transferring loot back. Just like trying to yeet frags at them from, <laughs> from up on the hill. Because they'll go along the beach, right? Yeah. Should we, just do right? That? Should we just do that then? Alright, I'm just going to get a good spot to start chucking frags. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, good, good spot. Good, good spot. They're either going to run one or two ways, right or left, so... Yeah, surely they'll just go along, like, because their base is pretty much on the coast. Yeah, they only have to run. So they'll just go straight up the coast, surely, unless they're, like, trying to be sneaky. you still got a good, like, line of sight so you can see when they're leaving. Yeah. Right. See when they're leaving. Sort of just hoping one comes out for this one. Alright, uh, through him. Chilling in the bush, so if they run this way, I'll be able to do something, I hope. <laughs> what do you got, Pipey? Got Pipey, so he should be able to drop one. Yeah, I got pipe, Pipey and Crossbow. Because these are, if, we, if we, this goes to success, they're not going to let us fucking live it up long. Off landing in like a hemp uh, role player boat base. <laughs> Uh, they try probably trying to get some hemp back after uh, the old heist. So uh, we had a plan. I wouldn't say it was foolproof by any means, but it was a plan nonetheless. Let's be honest, we were severely under-equipped. You know when Snipe had a pipe shotgun and a crossbow with a couple of frags to boot, and our highest tier Ooh, okay, weapon was scored. this M92 that we'd scored from the hazmat guy earlier. Safe to say our chances of pulling this off were next to nothing. But you know what they say. Ooh, okay, one's Nothing standard. ventured, nothing gained. Did he go back in? Yeah, let me back in. Oh no, no, he's leaving, he's leaving. Going along the coast. They're all going. Oh! Oh, cracked him. Go, go, go! Oh shit! Oh shit, I got two of them with a frag! Oh my god. Yeah, I got that one. Let's go. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god, this stack. I got a rocket launcher AK. You don't come back! You I'm don't! Going. Quick! Going. Oh my god, so no, no. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck, dude? We're so ready. Oh my god. <laughs> no fucking way. Alright, let's go, let's go. The remainder of this wipe we spent PvPing and farming to raid this clan. But sadly, someone beat us to the chase. You're not gonna believe it. They fucking raided, aren't they? The base is the king. Wow. Oh, I hope they got raided and got killed by a nade in the process. Oh man. It'd be like poetry. And in some ways, it kind of was. The kind of player that throws around phrases like this lightly is only deserving of a raid and a grief which is exactly what the Rust Gods had delivered to them. And we took peace in knowing that this counter raid would likely haunt them for wipes to come. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.